Kel Show is brought to you by Kel Chaco, Kel 360, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. Hello, my mom wa kwa basronko. Edi ba Kel Toothpaste PO Show, Barika de Zua. Mi awezo. It's an exciting day for me because indeed, I love food. You love food as well. And it's the National Farmers Day. It's the 2024 edition. Of course, because of the elections, we're having to do it in November. You're welcome once again. Today, we get to celebrate a national best farmer. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Madame Charity Akotia. Ladies and gentlemen, my very own mother. So please, you need to do it better for her. Better cook a way, Atu. Atu. Are you cool now? Yeah, yeah. Better cook No way. This is fine. Okay. Hey. Leke. How did you do it? It wasn't a small journey. So it was a marathon. Wow. But to have God be on my side, I was able to make it. Of course. And she's a strong ever. So of course, we, we, we will start the discussion very soon. Medical Kuku is up yeah. once again. Is Thank you. So we're right back and we'll get talking. Remember, the Kel Toothpaste PO Show is proudly made possible by Kel360, Kel Chuckle, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. And with Kel, is always a happy smile. My makeup for today is made possible by Cover GH. You want to stay? We're right back. My friends, my name is Kel Kids Toothpaste. Wow. I was made to be gentle on your gum but protected. I will protect your teeth from cavity, make your teeth whiter, stronger, keep your mouth fresh all day. And best of all, I'm strawberry flavored. So put on a smile and try me. That's amazing. Just try me. That's my job. If you say so, jump on my brush. brush. Make your teeth stronger, cheeky cheeky, whiter, cheeky cheeky, stronger. Yay! You did it! I'm glad you like your new toothpaste. Don't forget to brush both day and night. Girl Kids, happy smile. Welcome back to the Farmer's Day edition of the Kel Toothpaste PO Show made possible by Kel 360, Kel Chaco, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. And with Kel, it's always a happy smile. And next year, celebrate your farmers. Adriani Bia would be a ho and a fee. And you're one more. Kiani Bia, you're what? In we are celebrating 2023 National Best Farmer, Madame Charity Akotia. And like I said, Eh, oyemi mama papa papa inti no. Ene ye ye beka ye kasa ye ko volta. Anti charity me lo kuku wezo. Yo okay. Me no babi abe first. Mad me di manya fine cho how it started for you and all that. Me cho peki. Mhm. Mag blobe kai kai manya devia. Eno nye deka no jine po. Ta I will say. Major as a church, I go make sure they me. Oh, okay. I be around 15 years, sir. Eh, me ever know a no longer a more likely to support my education. Okay. That the then picky settlement farm. That me when I know you touch me wanna a gle vivi. Lafe me. Lafe, eh, eh. That me when I know the secondary school for me by training college. That who post me there Aguna district that time. I be all your do I be Aguna Asafu. If ma nyanyi first station. I ke ele ma do vucho swedro half ma yi. I ke unto enya nu fi ado kule e ganya o. I me glona nyi head teacher be ah. Nya me nya nu ngon. If ya o na vegetables ta me di anigba. O be o. Young lady, can you? So I will. Wow. Kuya me jago me nema. Ta eva di ani ba wande kanam. Ta me jago me vi vi vi. Ta eva webe e ganya me gava defuna mu. You've told me about how you started very early in terms of, you know, going onto the picky settlement farm, and it looks like it started very early for you. Enti farm in na na udi starti yeah the core SS, ah the core training college. 
Ah, the better than teacher. Yes, please. Wow, Pacho, can we be kaka for home? What happened is, personally, I'm financially disciplined. So when I'm doing something, I target this money for this. I mm -hmm. work towards it because I need to pay my school fees with the little that my mother will support. I need to buy my clothing for the schooling and everything. So I just focus my attention. If I get something, maybe somebody's produce from the farm, I can get and sell. Mm -hmm. I could remember that uh, during training college that time, uh, we have been calling it feed yourself. Mm -hmm. I was selling bread after uh, studies in the evening. I do go around to the dormitories and sell bread. Interesting. Uh, uh, and then uh, you were telling me earlier about when you went to the training college and then you approached your uh, principal that you need a land to start. That, that, was after, story. that was after training college okay. when I was posted to Agona district. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a financial problem set in. That time too I was nursing a baby. Mm. So I approached my head teacher that uh, this place I could see that they are interested in vegetable farming and I also know how to farm. Mm -hmm. So I need the land. He thought I was playing. Mm -hmm. So master you just lead me to get the land. So he led me to a man and I had the land, one acre. So I was doing it like that gradually and uh, uh, 1995. There was this farmer's day at uh, Gumwa, the ramp, and that was regional farmer's day. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was not uh, December like that. Uh, see, the weather is somehow dry. Yeah. I was not having any money. So I said, ah, this nice that I've extracted, why can't I also send it to where the farmer's day is being celebrated? So I placed it in a bowl very nicely. So I went to Esbit. So the regional minister was first and said, ah, where from this? I so I have extracted a seed, pepper seed. I said, yes. So that was the comment they make and left. So the time they were awarding the people, my name was mentioned to be the uh, regional seed producer because nobody brought seed, seed to that uh, uh, place. So I was given, it seems, key soap and uh, cutlass. <laughs> Uh, I was happy. As People you know, also they... bought some for me because I was after money before yeah. going. So I said, hey, then if this small thing will happen, then I have to continue. So with that, I started gradually. And in 1998, I went on my normal runs to one of the villages and I met a certain gentleman. Madam, I bought your seedlings. It was very nice. Can you extract the seed for us to sell at a store at a Accra? So yes, I can do so. So the man led me to Agrimat House. Okay. So I started supplying them small, small, together with my seedlings. So I was doing it like that. When, and yeah, I'll say that. And yeah, I'll say that around 2000. Okay. A friend of my husband gave me a land about three acres that I should be doing my pepper on it. So I, I asked permission from him to allow me to plant a uh, plantain. Okay. So I planted the plantain. After one year, I, I asked the man, I also need land to buy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because, um, because, because of the pepper and the, this, mm -hmm. I always keep the farm very neat. So the man contacted somebody and uh, uh, we went and uh, the land was 33 acres. And wow. that time, uh, 5,000 today, mm -hmm. 50,000 that time. I said, hey. 5,000 for one? Or for no, the for, for the 33 oh, acres. Okay. So I went to Teachers Credit Union and asked for a loan. That, w that time, 2,500 was the loan mm -hmm. that time. And the, the manager said, he's going to take that from my salary. So, oh, it will not happen. If you take this money, for that it from my, then, uh -huh. so you allow me to work, I'll pay. I was so fortunate that that year, 
Jehovah God bless me. Mm -hmm. And I had 4,000 CDs from the Pepe. The first... From just the Pepe? Yes, from the first acre that I planted Pepe on. So I just went and uh, complete everything. And then so just paid off the loan? Yes. Interesting. From there, I said, ah, then this work, it will be okay. <laughs> so, so I started uh, gradually. And there's a valley there. So uh, normally I work hand in hand with the mofa. So, madam, if you dig a uh, pond here for uh, fish, it will be okay. So, so I told my husband, can you please assist me to dig the pond? So no problem. He assisted me and I, I dug the pond, two ponds, and we started like that. So the laborers have been kind, Madam, why can't you enter into poultry farming? So he got a small land, about an acre, not attached to that one. And we started the poultry. The capacity that time was 3,000 beds. So you, you the, need to hold on on that. Okay. So we are doing poultry now. I think it's a good time to link to our seed to oak segment. And our seed to oak segment is made possible by Kel Kits toothpaste. With Kel Kits, it's always a happy smell. We have a strawberry flavored and it makes it easy. And brushing time is always fun time now. And you don't need to suffer to get the children to brush their teeth. It is FDA approved and is very affordable. It's seed to oak for anti-charity Aquatia. Wow. And that's how it started for anti-charity. And that's our Seed to Oak segment. Well, let's go back since we're doing the, the Seed to Oak. We talked about after training college when you started teaching and you got the acre. Mm -hmm. Did we do a further um, education after that? Yes. Or the farming became exciting? So uh, No. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried to further my education. And interestingly, that was the time I had my f uh, fourth born. So uh, I married the child caring, the farming, and feathering of my education. Okay. It was so tedious. So I always attend the lectures very late. What degree? What did you pursue? That was basic, basic education. Okay. Home economics to be oh, specific. Okay. So you could see that it was tedious. Yes. But Jehovah God being on my side, I'm able to. So with the poultry farm, mm -hmm. that one acre poultry farm we started and uh, I was telling so my So the poultry farm was also an acre? I is started with... Is it or is another Another acre, one. Another one, yeah. okay. That one, my husband bought it for me okay. and uh, uh, we started there. So I was telling him that I want to extend. So no, I should pay attention to this one. So I've taken my decision that I am going to look for land. So we went and uh, we met the people. After meeting them, they showed me five acres of land there. And so, eh, Nana, Mpacho, Miniska, me teacher, and T. Sikano, met here three months, three months. So, me di, eh, sa, we no su, pepe, pepe, okay. And T. me di, so, na, papa, ne si, ah, Sika fu, grandpa. One day, no crazy. Oh, him, my chubby, I can't want more. So, with that, where my uh, head office is now, that area they've given me uh, 35 acres. Wow. And later on, they have given me another 10 acres somewhere, 17 acres, 12 acres, and 8 acres. That family alone. And then later on, too, they've given me 65 acres at different town, which belongs to somebody. So that is how I'm able to acquire the land. And uh, I wanted to move to where uh, I bought the land. My husband said no. And so I am moving. So I, I told one of the workers that we will live here. We'll go for an extension. So uh, we, went. we went. We started. 
So at that place, we first started with 7,000 bears. And the grass. So the new land you got all went into poultry? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so we started there. Today we are having 65,000 layers over there. 65,000? Yes, please. And uh, wow. we have piggery too. And you see our pigs now here now? Always I have in stock over 500. And we are selling all the time. Well, that's interesting. Um, but me person me tia say say what country in baby I started here I have been doing this year. Can I say me lose count about the number of acres that would be a huge man. Inti how many in terms of uh, uh, acres in our war? All together, the land is about eight hundred acres. Wow! Mm. And they are all in uh, no less? no. It is scattered, scattered all, over. all over the country. Now, when you are there, yeah, some a time. Ma, I schedule everything, and I have each location. I have managers over there. Okay. So at the close of the day, I will take it like that. <laughs> mm. By the close of the day, I receive reports from the various places. But if the need comes. After classes, I quickly learn there mm. to rescue the situation. How do you get to discipline yourself because of all the things that you are marrying together? The family as a wife and mother, and then the teacher, the best farmer, in mm. fact, amongst others. How mm. do you get to juggle all together? Yeah, it is planning. When I say I'm going to this place today, unless there's a, an emergency, I have to. Because you know, I've invested into a lot of things, so I have to be time conscious and mindful of all my activities. Okay. But today I will say that last month my husband has retired and he's now going to give me full support. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I think it's a good time for us to get into our 360 segment and it's made possible by Kel 362 Pace. It has that minty fresh bread gives you all day long and very affordable and safe for use for the entire family. So it's time for 360 right here for Madame Charity on the PL show. Madame Charity Akotia is the founder and CEO of Greenwood Farms, Ghana's first registered company to begin commercial production back in 1993. At 53, this dedicated farmer and mother of four has transformed her humble one-acre vegetable farm into a thriving agricultural enterprise. Over the years, Greenwood Farms has expanded into animal husbandry and diverse crop production while adopting robust farming techniques to stay competitive. With offices spanning the central and western regions, Madame Charity employs 277 workers, including 87 women and 15 people with disabilities. Her impressive accolades speak volumes from being the first runner-up for the National Best Farmer in 2018 to becoming the 2023 National Best Farmer after years of perseverance, but her commitment goes beyond award. She prioritizes her workers' welfare through initiatives like paying school fees and providing clean drinking water to her community. And that's the CEO of Greenworth Farms, Madame Charity Akotia, national best farmer. One million numpacho asa. <laughs> <laughs> One million in Pachasa. I'm so. There's only a big crack out of the So let's talk about that day when um, the announcement was made. What was going through your mind? I took a <laughs> deep breath. Oh. And I said, Oh, really? Hard work, peace. That was what I told myself. And the people started making comments Charity, Eddie, why are you? Oh. Oh, to me, Jim, what, what drop will buy a region? No, I'm so in your share. So, why is this? Why check? I'm so in a day. I'm so in a cook on why send when on ya. So, that was about it. And uh, I realized that uh, farming uh, it wasn't for men, 
Mm. That was my realization that day. If you are a, a woman and you, you challenge yourself to do it, you by all means achieve. But maybe some will say that, oh no, I said, we need a thing. But farming it looks like and for Obabia maybe to me. Oh. What would you say to such people? I would tell them they should be focused and identify wherever their interest is. If you are disciplined, you have your financial discipline and uh, uh, you are faithful and also you are uh, friendly with everybody. Mm. And I respect my workers. I don't treat them that, oh, I have employed you, you have been to secondary school yeah. or this or that. Whatever they are saying, I listen to them and I respect them. For that matter, they also respect me. We but had a dry spell this year, mm -hmm. um, leading to a ban on export of grains, amongst others, from Ghana. I'm sure you, you, you experienced it. How was it, this dry spell that we've had? I don't know if you were affected. Personally, I would say that uh, where we are is a bit better than okay. that place. And our poultry farm, our livestock mm -hmm. is the safra. I'm looking it on this angle that rather than doing that, why can't the government provide us with irrigation and they give us education concerning climate smart agriculture? Because where I am now, water is problem. And uh, I have to lay pipelines from the main uh, road to where I am. I don't have electricity. I had a borehole, all right, but it is salty. Suppose I have electricity, I can use a machine to refine the water refining. for usage, but nothing like that. What I have, uh, I've been doing is with my piggery like this, Pigs, you know, they like a lot of water. water yeah. But with the emo system, I don't use water. And I have nipples. When you are thirsty, you go and drink and come. So if such education will be given us to be smart with wherever the climate is taking us to, I think it will help us. That's good advice. So thank you. This is the Kale Toothpaste Peel. She was always brought to you by Kale Chuckle Toothpaste. With kale charcoal is always a happy smile. The days of using plantain, peduncle to uh, dip in charcoal to give us that white teeth is all gone. Now with just the use of kale charcoal toothpaste, you get that white teeth, fresh breath, and always have a happy smile. Different era, better result. Time has changed and time has brought Kel Charcoal Toothpaste. Healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Kale Chocolate Toothpaste, Sankofa, Yenchi, Kale Chocolate Toothpaste, Happy Smile. This advert is FDA approved. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. I'm a fat Missy Way. Repatcho Bantama. Matias. A smile, a fresh breath. Me, Jidi said we use Kel 360 toothpaste. Same kind. Kel 360 toothpaste. That's Kia. Kel 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. Oh, Nim Jom Kazan Kazan Kazan. Kel 360 did the way. It's cool, man. Gives me fresh breath and your confidence booster. <laughs> And you will see so fine in Kika when you know, yeah. Cal 360 toothpaste. Happy smile. Cal 360 toothpaste, anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Cal, happy smile. This advert is FDA approved.
You're welcome back to the Kel Toothpaste PL show and Madame Charity Akotia, the national best farmer for the year 2023 and hopefully for the year 2024, is my guest right here on the Kel Toothpaste PL show as we celebrate farmers in Ghana. I see that you do a lot of packaging also yes, uh, yes. for Greenworth. So mm. what kind of products you have available and where can uh, one get access to these uh, products? We've been packaging smoked chicken, smoked pork, fresh chicken and pork. We do process uh, coconut chips, wow. coconut cakes, pepper, pepper paste and powder, those mm. things. Yeah. And where is it available for anyone? Okay, we've been sell selling at Fridays on uh, in offices. Okay. And we have some in stores in Swedro. Also, with the social media, we do sell outside Swedro and Accra. Mm. Yeah. Uh, people can order from Tamale, Bulga, all around. When they are organizing programs and things, we okay. do package and give it to these days when you give to the drivers with their number they receive it they receive it yeah. okay so if you assess you on social media and the numbers rolling on the screen you can mm. have access to greenworth products we are about to just wrap it all up nicely right here on the kill toothpaste po show we have a guest for you mm. and are you expecting anyone no no please are you sure you're not expecting anyone no okay so I have a special guest for you. Esther Chumesi is my guest. I have a surprise for you. And I can see the smile on your face. Hello, Esther. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, yeah. Charity. Yes, madam. Good. <laughs> You're welcome, Auntie Thank Esther. you so much. Thank you so much. And Charity, who is Esther? Do you know her? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Esther, please introduce yourself to uh, us. Great. So basically, um, I think a lot of people call me Miss Agriculture Ghana. <laughs> and also an advocate for young women in agriculture. And basically very passionate about um, women leadership and youth empowerment. And um, what's been the relationship between you and Auntie Esther? Um, let's say I'm her manager. <laughs> she didn't say it. Eh? She said it. She said it. Eh? I'm her manager. <laughs> so I think um, basically it's been a working relationship, but very fruitful one, especially she being a woman and the kind of things she's pioneering in the sector. You need to pay her a visit and then see what is actually happening on the ground. And it's been a, a growth moment. And I think we've, we've, we've enjoyed the moment together. Thank you so much so for grateful. being a part and then coming to surprise Auntie Esther for us right here mm -hmm. on the Kill Toothpaste PO show. But whilst you're here, maybe a brief message um, to the young ones out there. We're talking about how it's difficult for most girls and females to go into what Auntie Charity has been able to do. So maybe briefly a message to the young ones, the girls out there who are watching now, what they can do. Yes, um, I think um, immediately you mentioned agriculture or agribusiness, yeah, the young people, their minds goes to um, the hoe and the catalyst. I want to let them know we've moved from that sector. It's, it's a whole chain. So if even you're a lover of social media, you can actually be in agriculture. Use mm -hmm. your following to promote made in Ghana products. Promote agriculture influencers. Eh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and we can also have agro marketers. In fact, whatever you are doing, you can actually play a role in the agribusiness chain. So don't. And most of, uh, one thing I also say to the NGOs, to organizations who are trying to encourage young women to go into agriculture, let's not just try to move them from their comfort zone. Okay. Let's preach the gospel of agriculture to them wherever they are. And trust me. We, we, we will be growing a lot of them in the sector. Anti Charity, we have to wrap up at this point now that I've, I've given you that pleasant surprise. <laughs> so before we go, briefly, let me show up a message last year on this day. First and foremost, I want to thank Jehovah God for this day. And uh, I thank the Minister of Food and Agriculture for their support and encouragement till this day. Uh, I thank my family, especially my husband and children, my faithful workers, and uh, to the young ladies over there. We are saying that agriculture is not a uh, main domain uh, work. Mm. Women can do it. We have a value chain 
you can decide to take any part of the chain that you are or if only you have interest you take uh, the part of the chain that you want mm -hmm. and uh, you develop interest you contact the uh, minister of food and agriculture they will guide you and uh, by all means you get your share okay mm. thank you so much anti charity and we'd like to congratulate you once again mm. and <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is from the Kel Toothpaste and um, P.O. Show. <laughs> so this is from the entire team. And he, I'm, I'm sure, Esther, you, you would join us um, to help me to co um, do the coronation for <laughs> anti-charity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Thank okay. you. Um, so this is from us to you. Um, oh, it's for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. So every time you see this, you remember that they are the queen that you are. Mm. And apart from being the national best farmer, we have also coronated you as a queen. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. And that's not all. Uh, I don't know if you know about Kale Toothpaste, Kale Charcoal, and Kale oh, 360. Wow. This is from us to you also to celebrate to you <laughs> as well. So Thank you. This is for you. Thank you so much, Thank and you. we are looking forward to many, many more national awards. Yes. And back to back, we are hoping that you continue to be the national best farmer. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> so that's it uh, for today's edition of the Kel to Pace Kel Peel Show. And um, our best farmer has been here with us as we celebrate farmers on this day. Once again, I equal to all our farmers. Without you, we don't know where we would be. Another exciting edition of the Kill to Peace PO show will come your way once again. I am MFA Apao. Many thanks for your company. And make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. Is the PL show.